Hey everybody, so this is going to be our welcome video for Math 152, Section uh, 821KR, which meets uh, this summer. Um, I'm your instructor, Mr. Lee. Uh, I wanted to take a few minutes. I'm going to try to keep this to 15 minutes. We'll see if I run long. <clears throat> Just to run over uh, how to navigate Blackboard and to go over the syllabus with you. Uh, the first day or two of the semester, I really want to focus in and knock out policies and procedures of the course so you can really focus in on course material for the rest of the semester. Uh, we're going to navigate around Blackboard a little bit, but I, I wanted to take a second to say if there's anything I can do to help, if there's any way I can support you, please reach out. Uh, email is going to be the easiest way to reach me during the summer. I do check email regularly. Uh, I won't be in the office as often as I would be, say, in the, the spring. Um, so let's navigate around Blackboard a little bit. So um, we are in Blackboard right now. And um, if you are navigating, if you are accessing this for the first time, it may look a little different than this. So some dates I want to make you aware of. And actually, let's zoom in on this a bit. Is that uh, Blackboard now becomes open two days before the semester starts. So uh, this time it will become open on Saturday, May 14th. It will have limited uh, access before the semester starts, the two days before the semester starts, uh, including none of the assignments are going to look, none of the assignments are going to be open. So this is going to look different. You will get full access the morning of Monday, May 16th. And that's what I'm showing you right now is full access. Um, it should land you on the coursework page. And uh, the navigation panel might be pulled out. It might not be. Now, mine looks a little different because I'm an instructor, but the navigation panel looks something like this. Uh, over here, you can see announcements. I'm going to send this video out in an announcement. Uh, start here tab. I'm going to put this video right here in the start here tab. Uh, the syllabus, which we're going to go over in a minute. Uh, the course entry assignment. Uh, which is really important. You must complete the course entry assignment or the system is going to automatically withdraw you from the class. And I don't want that to happen. So make sure you complete the course entry assignment. It's not for a grade. It's just so you can stay in the course. Coursework where you will spend most of your time. Uh, instructor contact. It's a picture of me right there. Um, the only discussion board we're doing is the course entry assignment. Uh, you can access it two different places over here. Uh, campus resources. Uh, the Learning Center offers free tutoring. They offer free remote tutoring over Zoom, which is an awesome, awesome opportunity. Uh, students that regularly attend tutoring uh, earn a letter grade better in the class on average. Um, so I hope tutoring is something you'll take advantage of. Uh, and then grades are, you, there's a my grade section over here. Uh, you can see your weighted total. This projects you know, the grade that you're going to earn in the class. Homework total adds up all of your homework questions. Lab total add, adds up all the lab questions you've completed. Test average averages together your four test grades. Course entry assignment, did you do it or not? And then you can see assignment by assignment. Now, something weird about Blackboard. And I don't like this, but there's nothing I can do about it. Blackboard automatically sets these dates. And they are normally correct, but I've had semesters where Blackboard just gets it wrong, and there is no way for me to fix this. So I would encourage you not to use these dates as your, as your guide. We're going to go over the syllabus in a moment. In the syllabus, there's a pacing guide at the end. That's a great place to look for due dates. And when you click on an assignment, it tells you when it's due. So that's another good place. So in the assignment or from the pacing guide is where you want to want to look for due dates. Um, I'm going to talk about it when we get to this in the syllabus, but I would really encourage you to print off that pacing guide. Maybe even print multiple copies of it off Put it on your refrigerator, put it on your nightstand, put it in visible places in your house. A great way to keep up with assignments. Okay, 
So let's look at the syllabus a little bit. Our session starts on the 16th, ends on the 18th. I am Grady Lee Wilson Withers. I go by Mr. Lee. Uh, here's my email right here. That's the easiest way to get in touch with me. Um, I'll respond to you within 24 hours, but oftentimes I can respond a lot quicker than that. Uh, supervisor info here, info on course modality. This is an asynchronous course. We have no meeting times. This is, uh, you, know, you just have to sit down, sit down your own and work through the course material. Um, the last day you can withdraw from the class is uh, 6 17. That's a Friday. Hoping that none of you are going to need to make a decision when that day rolls around. You're going to be in really good standing in the course. But uh, and that, so keep that date in mind. Um, there's no textbook to purchase. Um, we use a platform called MyOpenMath. MyOpenMath is integrated with Blackboard for single logon. So uh, when I click here on probability and uh, click on this assignment here, probability homework, I'm now in my open math. It's just integrated with Blackboard. There is a textbook. There's just not one you have to purchase. The textbook is integrated with Blackboard. Um, if you want, now this, I, there was an issue with the dead link. Yeah. Um, if you want to order the book, we are using statistics using technology second edition. Does this link work or is it dead as well? No, this link works. Okay. So uh, you can purchase the book here from Lulu for uh, $33. Um, and then I think, let me check quickly on this other screen. I think it's available on Amazon if you want the physical copy. Let's see. Yep. You can find it on Amazon. Um, and there's some used copies here. And my suspicion is that the used copy price will shoot down over the next few days. Um, if you uh, keep track of it, so that's an option. You don't have to. You don't have to get a physical copy. If you if you wanted to print it, you could also just print off all the PDFs. But most students just use the textbook uh, online. They just use it through Blackboard. So for each topic, we can look at probability again. The text is always at the very beginning of the topic. So here's the 40 pages on probability you can read up on. Each topic is formatted the same. There is a required reading, just pulled from the textbook. There are uh, overview videos. Uh, there's extra videos. So the overview videos are pulled from uh, the text. The extra videos are generally pulled from our uh, videos that I put together for you. Um, and they tend to have more uh, help with the calculator. And then you have a homework assignment and a lab assignment with each. We'll talk about those more in a second. The one thing that you need to purchase is a calculator in the TI-83 family. And let me just pull up some pictures of them. That might be helpful. Here's some pictures here. These kind of graphing calculators, something in the TI-83 family. Uh, I'm not going to shop with you too long, uh, but oftentimes if you shop on eBay, you can find these things for $20. The first few topics, you should be okay. So here's a working one for $25. Bucks. Um, the first few topics, you should be okay without the calculator. Deeper in the semester, we use uh, special functions on the calculator a lot, and uh, I think it, it's really confusing or really difficult without the calculator. So invest now in something in the TI-83 family. TI-83, TI-83+, TI-84, there's all kinds of different variants of it. Uh, locally, you can find them in pawn shops, uh, and McKay's used bookstore has them. That's I think I've seen them in there for 40 bucks before. Cheapest place is eBay, then probably a pawn shop or McKay's bookstore. Uh, there's a prereq for this class and a co-rec. Um, the course description is here. 
learning outcomes, 10 point grading scale. How will your grade be calculated? We're going to look at the pacing guide. Let's look at the pacing guide right now. The pacing guide, the last page of the syllabus, page four. I really encourage you to print this pacing guide so you can keep track of due dates. Today is all focused on watching the video that I'm producing right now and uh, clicking around Blackboard. Uh, Tuesday, you need to knock out that course entry assignment. It should take you five minutes. We really dive into the course on Wednesday, February, or May 18th. Our first topic is data collection. You have a homework assignment due on data collection. You have a lab due on data collection. Uh, all assignments are due at 11.55 p.m. So we spend two days talking about collecting data, two days on describing data, two days on probability. Every two weeks, you have a test that's due on Saturday. So week three, week four of the semester, test. Week five, week six of the, of the semester, test. So what are homework assignments like? And we can just pick on uh, probability a little bit more. We'll look at this homework assignment right here. Uh, and I'll click start here. You have a question here. Uh, and you can jump around if you want. Uh, let's make this a little bigger for you all to see. You can jump around as much as you want. And let's just try this question. Let's say I, I, I thought the question was A. The answer was A. The answer is not A. It's even giving me an error message. We're going to submit it. Oh, I got the question wrong. It says I have 0 out of 1 points on this question. And over here it says I have 99 remaining attempts. So let's try it again. Get similar question. Let's try it again. A. Oh, A is still not the answer. I just burned another attempt. I can still try this question 98 times. When I finally get this question right, uh, I get one out of one points. There is no penalty for trying. All right, there's no penalty for getting a question wrong. Once you get the question right, you still earn full credit. So there's no harm in trying. That's how the homework assignments work. The labs work a little different. The labs, you get all the questions at once. You submit the lab at once. You get, I think I just passed the screen. Um, let me see if I can show you. Let's pull up the uniform lab. You get three attempts on the labs, and your highest attempt is the one that's recorded. All of your lab points for the semester will be added together for 28% of your grade. Homework is 40%, tests are 32%. Uh, your homework grade is always the strongest predictor of how you perform in the class. Students that that, that have strong homework grades do really well in this course. Students with weak homework grades really struggle. That's why it's really important you take the time and, and space you need to be successful. Okay. Um, I don't generally do la late work because this, this class is really fast. We only got eight weeks together. Um, so I don't generally get, offer extensions or, or accept late work, but if you have extenuating circumstances, reach out to me. Keep me in the loop. That's the best thing you can do. Extra credit is not a thing. Uh, attendance policy. If you miss four assignments in this course, I can withdraw you. If you're not keeping track with your coursework, I'm going to withdraw you from the course. All right. Uh, I think that's everything. Uh, please reach out if you have any questions. Uh, I'm excited about our semester together.